Autodesk Inventor LT, the sharpest tool for the wood trades. Project, create a piece of furniture for a client that has a specific design need as well as a piece of furniture that we have the ability to create in the shop. Most furniture for this particular client is rectilinear with some detailing. Thusly, we'll start with a cubic shape of approximate size, width, and depth. Using LT, of course, this is very simple to do. Uh, with the new Inventor LT, we have the ability to create what are called solid bodies so that this kick, which is one inch in thickness and five inch in height around three sides of the piece of furniture, actually simulates multiple components, though it's only one. Again, by utilizing colors within our system, we do have the ability to colorize or change the grain direction if necessary. Taking a five inch cavity out of the bottom, again, simulates the ability of having a single part look like multiple parts. Uh, utilizing eye features within Inventor LT, which is nothing more than predefined profiles that we design or configure or use from CAD's other CAD systems or AutoCAD or develop on our own, makes our particular project very straightforward and very simple. In this particular situation, we're cutting out the front of the piece to show some sort of a toe <coughs> detail. High features also have the ability to create full cavities. So in this particular situation, we have a eye feature that is rectangular, but it has all the detailing around the front, all of the fillets and chamfers and beads that you normally would see in a piece of furniture. Uh, same eye feature can be used in different sizes because it's parametric, and we have the ability of sizing every piece of it, and then, of course, defining its location within the body of the work. In this particular situation, we now have that, and of course, we can mirror it uh, on all sides. Eye features also, besides giving or providing negative shapes, can provide positive parametric shapes. So a drawer front or an entire drawer unit can be utilized in this fashion, <clears throat> laying it into the opening, center it into the opening, and then also providing a spacing all the way around the front so that it looks like a true realistic part. What you're seeing here is AutoCAD. Whether it's AutoCAD or DXF files or libraries from other locations, we just pull the profile, a 2D profile from a different CAD system, and we're applying it to our model. Here, we have two pieces of base mold and uh, somewhat something similar to a chair rail that will be seven and a half inches off of the top of the part. In our world, what we're doing is we're moving those pieces into alignment uh, so their location is exactly where we define it. And then using simple tools like <coughs> extrude, revolve, or sweep, we now have the ability to create, again, molding that will follow straight line as well as curve shapes. Um, around our part or around the room. Last piece in the equation is a top. Tops again, eye features. Eye features give us the ability to rotate, size, orient any way we want. So a project of this nature becomes very, very simple to do very, very quickly. Going into a 2D world, of course, we have the ability to take every view, project those view, create isometric views, and create detail views. Once the detail views are created, we have, again, the ability to dimension, present, note, and document fully whatever is necessary for our shop, our client, to review and accept. We also have the ability to do isometric dimensions. Again, hopefully you've seen how quick and easy it is to use Inventor LT in the creation of wood and wood fixtures.